Bima Pub. Urahisi wa maisha. Our relations and cooperation have had many beneficial outcomes that have blossomed ever since. I'd also like to register my sincere appreciation for the continued noble mission you have undertaken in our country as you touch the lives of hundreds of Tanzanian citizens. Personally, I'm indebted to you for the noble work you did to the lucky Vicent children, as it has been said here, who were involved in a tragic road accident six years ago. Without your help, these children's lives would have been cut short. But today, these children, as you have heard here, they are studying in universities, excelled in the academics, and are soon going to form part of our formidable workforce. Thank you so much, STEM and Dr. Steve Mayer. I thank you very much for bringing hope to these innocent children's lives and putting a smile back on them or their parent faces and giving Tanzania a well-trained workforce. We're eagerly waiting for them. I'm informed that Arusha and its uh, neighboring vicinities have been eagerly waiting for your services and here you are. And so on behalf of the people of the United Republic of Tanzania and myself, would like to present our heartfelt gratitude to Dr. Paul Gilbert and Dr. Steve Mayer, STEM, Operation Work, and all volunteers. In the same vein, I'd like to acknowledge the Honorable Lazaro Nyalandu, who is also co-founder of STEM, and along with him, Arusha Leth Lutheran Medical Center, for the meticulous coordination of STEM Medical Mission here in Tanzania. I'm told the work which is done this time has been given a name of Samia Love. What a beautiful name. What a beautiful name and I thank you so much for your love to me to give this um, camp my name or this noble work my name. Ladies and gentlemen, as it has been uh, uh, briefly uh, said by the Minister of Health, that our government has invested heavily in health in order to improve access to quality services. In the last two years, have seen great transformation in terms of infrastructure, medical equipment and technology, as well as human resource development. For the first time in the history, as she, shared, as she said, in our country, we now have city scan services in all regional referral hospitals MRI in major zonal referral hospitals and the first NGO suit at our National Orthopedic and Neurosurgery Institute in Tanzania. Uh, my government have been buying all this equipment uh, despite that we don't have the specialized or we have very few specialized doctors to use them. But we know camps like this may show us how to use these equipment. So we continue buying the health uh, equipment, knowing that in one way or another, they are going to serve our people, either used by ourselves or experts from abroad, but we have to have them around with us. These investments on one hand, a blessing while on another hand, a call for a parallel investment in qualified human resource to man the advancing medical technologies. And we are going to do that. The increasing access to these technologies has in turn increased the demand for specialized, um, specialists in those hospitals. Unfortunately, the current economic situation, uh, the country's capacity of production and deployment of health experts lags behind the demand but we are going to do it. Moreover, the cost of maintenance 
of the equipment as well as the cost and availability of processes and implants bring a new challenge. However, I think the health insurance for all is going to resolve the, 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 the problem of which the government is working on it. So we are going to solve the problem. And in that regard, I would like to appeal to the team with us here for a stronger collaboration and partnership with our Minister of Health, Dr. Paul. Your contribution is both timely and impactful. So we are looking towards a stronger partnership. So the health services in Tanzania could be improved. And it is true that Tanzania Investigates position itself as a regional hub or regional hub for medical tourism in Eastern, Central and Southern Africa. And it is in this mission that I invite you all STEM operation work and others to join hands with us in this transformative drive to specialized and super specialized orthopedic and neurosurgery services. As we do so, we shall also need to upgrade our supportive specialized care, uh, such as uh, intensive care units, anesthesiology, neurology, and rehabilitative medicine. I think I got it right. So the infrastructure to realize these dreams in, uh, are in place, but we need to further train health um, care workers in both numbers and quality. So please, we need your partnership to be able to realize this. And in this regard, it gives me an optim optimism that when you make medical camps such as this one, you get a chance to better understand our health systems and its needs. You meet our experts and effectively chart partnerships that enhance the delivery of quality health services. I therefore call upon the Minister of Health to take full advantage of these visits in terms of opening new avenues for collaboration uh, in Medicare, training, research, and medical innovation. Our dear guests, ladies and gentlemen, as I conclude my remarks, I must say that it is wonderful working with the team which is here with us and others still working in Arusha. I thank you once again for providing an opportunity for our doctors to work with a great team like yours. You will certainly leave with them will certainly leave with them a wealth of knowledge, definitely. And we are, for, uh, we are looking forward to working with you now and in the very best future. With those remarks, it is now my pleasure to invite you for the luncheon. It is just a simple Tanzanian gesture of hospitality. And please kindly accept it as a token of uh, appreciation for your good humanitarian work done here in Tanzania. Once again, welcome to Tanzania. Thank you for kind attention and may God abundantly bless you all. Thank you very much. cha Kilimanjaro Institute of Technology and Management kilichopo Mwenge jijini Dar es Salaam na chenye ithibati na usajili wa activate number ya jimkwaju AM kwaju 029 anapenda kuwatangazia nafasi za masomo kuangazia diploma na certificate kwa muhula wa masomo utakao anza 27 March mwaka 2023 katika kozi sifatazo IT business administration accountancy procurement and supply front office na hotel management chuo kimebobea katika ufundishaji kwa njia ya vitendo na kimeanza kutoa wanafunzi wenye weledi mkubwa wengi wameajiriwa na kujiajiri
matajiri na kwa wale ambao wameamua kujiendeleza na degree wameweza kujiunga na vyo vikubora hapa nchini na nje ya nchi pia kuna offer ya kuzifupi za computer application graphic and design video production pamoja na CCTV camera kwa maelezo zaidi piga simu namba 0754864361 au 0751050480 KITM elimu na ujuzi kwa maendeleo ya uchumi